Hey, what's up, everybody? Good evening. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's Monday night. This is your YouTube tropical update, and uh, we got Louie. He's got a straw hat on, man. He's uh, he's ready for uh, Taco Tuesday tonight. <laughs> we might actually take him tonight. I don't know. We might do that. So, you ready? We're ready. All right. Well, hey, listen. These little YouTubes are going good. I really appreciate it. If you uh, like the YouTube videos, please subscribe. Uh, it means a lot. Um, we'll get this channel growing. Right above me is uh, Invest96. That's what we're going to talk about. So uh, that's pretty much the whole focus of our little quickie here. Uh, this is the latest tropical map from the NHC, and this is uh, Invest96. Uh, this little guy we've been talking a lot about isn't really going to do much. It's only 10%, so don't worry about the yellow guy as of right now. I, mean, I never say never in the tropics. They can always end up getting you, but as of now... Just worry about the orange guy. The orange guy is interesting. Uh, the models this afternoon weren't as aggressive with it. Uh, there's going to be possible a lot of land interaction ahead. Big question marks. Uh, which side of the uh, islands that goes to the north or to the south? Uh, and there's even you know the uh, possibility this could get into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's only 40 percent. Still a long way away. Uh, the models are all over the place. So there's no way that we would. Uh, have any idea what's going on with this thing this far out we're just going to speculate that's what i do here show you the long range models but in the short term uh the weekend here uh, definitely going to see this impact the islands puerto rico virgin islands lesser Antilles. could be a big rain event at that point so regardless of strengthening before that we could see a pretty significant rain event to worry about here in in uh, even this in, in the hispaniola uh later in the weekend um Current spaghetti models are out. These are tropical tidbits. So now that we have an invest, we have spaghetti models. The uh, We'll have more soon, but this is the 18Z. You can see a general west-northwest trek here, and uh, it's been pretty consistent with that. Um, a lot of land, Hispaniola mountains could, you know, really inhibit development in the short term here. So that's what we're watching, but there's a high pressure in place, and this thing is uh, looking like it's going to keep on trucking that direction. At least for... Uh, little while here's some uh g uh gem cmc ensembles these are on tropicaltidbits.com also you can see the general thinking is a um a west northwest track just a couple of them going north but there you, know, you get the idea these are your uh, latest gfs tracks uh these are all ensembles and then your latest weathernerds.org ensembles uh the euro <laughs> did a 180 on us uh it's still showing you know uh, caribbean impacts here this is the uh, 20th you know, you're worried about a time frame here's the 19th this is where you know it could be over the 19th just about five days from now and then uh the euro kind of goes a little bit a bit every which way um so again the euro's off again on again that's what we see flip-flopping a model's windshield wiper effects and then into the picture is this other guy that's coming off of africa uh i gotta briefly mention it it's over um land t tonight looking kind of juicy it's going to actually race pretty fast across the atlantic and it could actually catch up to invest 96 and and maybe somehow being a player just and this is not that yellow area this is a new one that's actually um let's see i got a good graphic here i thought i did maybe not let's see one more no i guess i didn't have it opened up let's go ahead the uh ghost satellite has been down a little bit in fact there it is there okay so uh, some of the, some of the imagery and weather nerds and tropical tubes, by the way, today have uh, been delayed. So if you're wondering about the satellite, it's been a little little weird today. I haven't really heard what's going on, but this is this is uh, this is uh, up to date. So this is our water vapor loop. You can see our system right here, kind of broad, heading uh, that general direction. This is the new system that's coming in off of Africa that could make its way across that we're going to be watching. This isn't anything um, to worry about, and this is that yellow guy. So. That just kind of gives you an idea. We do have something coming possibly off of Africa that could uh, race itself across um, the Atlantic. Real quick, the verticity signatures I always like to look at. This is uh, 850 millibar. This is uh, showing good spinach of our system. This is our Invest 96. A little bit of 500 millibar. It's a little displaced. Uh, you look at the weather uh, weather winds here. This is null school. You can see the 850 you know, showing some circulation. So it's, it's definitely got a lower level of circulation. You know, it's trying, not, you know, terribly uh, earth shattering <laughs> the, the appearance tonight, but it does have a lower level uh, circulation and that's what it takes. So 
Uh, some of the individual models real quick, we'll show you on Tropical Tidbits again, this to give you an idea of what the Euro was doing today. Um, the Euro today weakened it over land. Uh, this is the 17th. You can just kind of see a general weakening. And then the second wave catches up. This is that new one off of Africa. So again, it's kind of odd what the Euro is showing. It shows our first system slowing down Invest 96 with our new uh, wave really catching up and possibly merging with it. Very odd, weird, weird setup. Day 10. Overnight Euro showed this a little more stronger system in the Bahamas still could happen and then yesterday's 12z run It showed it a little bit closer to the Bahamas. So, you know good consistency with the Euro It's just the latest one showed a little more weaker system probably more land interaction um, The Canadian model I've always thought was been pretty good the last few years here. Here's our system weak system uh, 16th and 17th um, You can see it get a little window here once it passes those high mountains and uh, gets kind of down in the keys, you know, a thousand four, and it actually ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, that's a general path that some of these ensembles are taking. So, you know, the environmental conditions in that area, we got the MJO sliding over a phase of the MJO is gonna be enhanced. We got, you know, ultra hot ocean heat content waters. And, um, you know, those are just things that, that tropical systems need to uh, intensify quick. So. We always got to watch that regardless of what happens here or here. It's always, you know, here we can have a little surprise. Um, so don't don't jump on every little uh, individual run. Like that's why I showed the last three euros. Uh, the last three euros uh, pretty much has been strong, kind of like that, you know. So um, and then I'm at GFS. Forget about it. The only thing I do want to show is the um, icon. We have a lot of people to watch down in the islands. Icon showing a little bit quicker spinning up system here, possibly over Puerto Rico here. Um, this is the latest 18Z just came out, so that's good. It backed off a little bit. The 12Z showed a uh, pretty good chance this thing could try to strengthen here, uh, 988. So a little more realistic run here in the latest 18Z, a weaker system. But notice the trend here. Most of these are going a little farther to the south. You know, we talked about it this morning in our daily brew, but it looks like this is going to end up here. Uh, there's a weakness that's going to be here, but high pressure is definitely going to build. And it looks like the latest trends are whatever this thing is, is going to reach this high pressure and, and go a little bit farther west. That's the trend today. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, so bottom line, you know, the models aren't really uh, overly aggressive uh, right now with development. But we are seeing a, a, a agreement that it's going to go west-northwest. And uh, timing, just to give you a, a good idea with the Canadian and the Euro on the timing, um, people like that. So, I, you know, when I say U.S., I don't mean to not mention Puerto Rico or Virgin Islands. I'm, I talk about you guys a lot. It's when I, I say continental, I should, so I should say continental U.S. <laughs> uh, but timing for continental U.S., if uh, the CMC is correct, this would be around the, the midweek next week, 20th. And if we go back to the Euro... Uh, just two days ago, the euro was showing um, this around the 21st, 22nd. So continental U.S., uh, it could be there possibly middle next week at the earliest. Uh, so that's, you know, right around the corner. Um, you know, timing again is the 15th, you know, 16th. You can just kind of follow along. That's kind of how it works. You know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, you know, important thing is this weekend is... Uh, Eastern Caribbean. The other thing, real, 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 real quick, we got a lot of rain coming. We got this lingering, linguini front. Wink, wink. That's <laughs> our inside joke. Uh, lingering front looks like a lot of uh, dry air north of the Florida Peninsula all week long. Uh, it's incredible, actually. This is your humidity line on Tropical Tidbits. It's going to be a very dry several several days this is brown air is dry air and uh, man look at that it's going to feel like fall florida peninsula though going to get a lot of rain uh this all the way through the weekend um so there you go all right this one almost 10 minutes i gotta keep it down to nine minutes uh we'll be live tomorrow morning 9 19 eastern make sure you check out our cruise the mwp cruise coming up prices have skyrocketed now that they released all the restrictions for cruising but we got our cabins locked we got 100 cabins locked at a great rate already got about 80 to 100 people signed up so come join our mwp cruise have a great time it's in march and a lot of schools are on spring break then so all right have a great night thanks remember to subscribe we'll see you tomorrow bye bye